from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. I'm Stacy Motes. I'm the Education Specialist for the Library's Interpretive Programs Office, which is the office that handles all aspects of exhibitions and related programs. So the first thing, when people come to the library, they almost always are, first of all, astounded and, and their breath is taken away by the Jefferson Building, which is an incredible historic building. And if you've never been here, you can actually experience it virtually online as well. But I strongly urge you to come and do the real thing because there's just nothing quite like being here on site in, in DC. Um, when you're in the Jefferson Building though, after you've had a second to hopefully take it all in and perhaps do either a self-guided tour or to you know, go on one of our docent-led tours through the Visitor Services Office, um, that's when we hope that you also go through some of the exhibitions. And again, depending on your interest, depending on your time, you can explore the galleries. Uh, museum education, a lot of people don't realize, is a whole, a whole entire field. Um, so I actually first became interested as a kid, and a lot of the research will show you that, you know, if you are in a family that ends up going to museums, there's a strong chance that, you know, you're going to go to museums as an adult. And for me, that kind of was the extreme in that my family was extremely committed to going to, it seemed at the time, like every historical site and museum on the East Coast, um, which I have to admit I did not always appreciate as a kid, but certainly led to this lifelong love of learning and, and for informal learning. Um, I think probably what really drove me to become a museum educator, and particularly here at the library, is because I just love all different kinds of objects. Um, and the library, as you hopefully know, has everything in its collections. It's not only books, but you know, photographs, films, um, audio, I mean, just everything you can possibly imagine. And it's wonderful to be able to draw from these world-class collections and to help people understand this history, not only of the United States, but really of the world. And so um, you really can't ask for a better place to work and to have that opportunity to people, you know, help people connect to the stories of real people of the past and then connect it to things going on today. Um, for me, it's probably most gratifying when I am working with teachers or students and you see that light bulb go off and you see them kind of get this understanding of, wow, like I am looking at the real thing. I mean, this is not, you know, this is not just um, a copy. This is not, you know, in our world today where everything seems to be, you know, born digital or something that's not um, authentic in many ways. Um, they are getting a chance to actually see something that is one of a kind that witnessed history. And that's just for a lot of students, something that really kind of blows them away because they just haven't really thought about that, that something has survived, um, you know, from the past. I am truly one of the luckiest people on the planet. I just think that working in this institution, working with the exhibitions, being able to engage with visitors of all ages, all backgrounds, you know, people come from all over the world to, um, to experience the Library of Congress. People are so appreciative and so interested in, in, and really amazed to see what we have here. And then to go online and to see the online exhibitions. I'm also the, I guess, technically the Ask a Librarian for our online exhibitions and that the, the inquiries come through me. Uh, and so it, again, it's great to see how people use the online resources as well. But, um, but for me, being in the gallery is just, I could spend all day, and it's it's hard sometimes actually to go back to my desk and do do some of the more administrative end of things because I love just interacting with people of all ages in the galleries. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.